We want to simplify this expression, so let's see what perfect squares we have underneath the radical. Our first one we can break up into the square root of 9 times 9 times x squared times x. And then our other one we can turn into the square root of 6 times 6 times x squared times x. Now I broke that up into 9 times 9 just to show that you have the same number multiplied by itself, which means the square root of 81 we had there is 9. Square root of x squared, the radical cancels out the square, so we can pull out that x, and then we still have an x underneath the radical. Same thing over here, square root of 36 is 6. Square root of x squared is x, and then we still have another x underneath the radical. And now, since they're both being multiplied by the square root of x, we can go ahead and subtract our 9x minus 6x, giving us 3x times the square root of x. And then since the directions specify that x is a non-negative real number, we can take off our absolute value, writing this just as 3x times the square root of x.